Train stops play, said Stepney. He went on wistfully. Percy looked surprised, he said. So they asked permission and then went off to collect them. Toby and Thomas gaped in wonderment. Stepney took his trucks to the harbour, picked up a load of empties and started back. On the way, they were stopped by a signal near a cricket field where a match had just started. They settled down to watch. Presently, some fielders came towards them and waved. They asked, smiled the driver, and he eased Stepney forward till he stood under the signal. The cricketers shouted their thanks and play started again. The batsman hit out and soon a sky towered towards the train. Clunk! Down went the signal. There was another clunk too as the ball fell on the train. But neither driver nor fireman heard it. They were too busy, yelled the fieldsman. But Stepney's noisy starting drowned their shouts. He puffed to the trucks and left the frantic fieldsman behind. They said sadly, Four of them piled into an ancient car. They said, Caroline coughed crossly, reluctantly came to life, and they rolled out onto the road. Stepney wasn't hurrying. He had just crossed the river when Caroline came up behind. She wailed. Road and rail ran side by side. The cricketers waved and shouted, but they were too far away for the firemen to recognise them or hear clearly what they said remarked the driver. He advanced his regulator and Stepney drew ahead. Poor Caroline wasn't happy. She rattled along at twice her usual speed. She grumbled. She exclaimed. But Master didn't go home. Caroline nearly boiled with fury when he made her climb a steep hill and run down to the station on the other side. Caroline arrived just as Stepney had shunted the tracks. His crew were going off duty. The cricketers explained what had happened. The driver and fireman were surprised. They asked. They all went and looked. The ball was there, nestling under some straw. The driver said. Said the driver. He went on. The driver spoke to the station master and signalman. Then they rolled Caroline onto a flat truck and coupled the brake van behind. The cricketers got in and Stepney pulled the train. They reached the field in no time. Stepney watched from a siding while driver, fireman and guard sat in the pavilion. There were no more lost balls and the game was played to an exciting finish. Even Caroline was pleased. She doesn't think trains silly now, she says.